Hey guys, Antonio, the founder of Real Men Real Style here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the pullover sweater or the half zip, basically the item that I'm wearing here. And it goes by many names, the zip up, the half button, uh, although you have to have buttons for it to be the half button. But you guys get what I'm, get what I'm talking about. This is a core wardrobe item and I wanna give you a quick overview of this and how you can incorporate this into your wardrobe. But before we get started, you know, I would appreciate it if you would click on the like button. It's right down below this video. And by doing that, more men find this video. Also, if you want to learn more about men's style, I've got a great free 47 page ebook. Uh, the links to it's going to be right down below. Go grab that free ebook. You're also going to be on my email list where I'll let you know at least twice a week. I'll give you updates of things going on in the style world, give you the best discounts on uh, any products or any, any information coming out. You also, there's a lot of cool insider perks that you get. So I advise you join my email list. Okay, guys, are you ready? Let's go ahead and jump into the half zip. So I was just actually talking to my friend Grant Harris over at Image Granted about this, and he just recently bought his first zip up. And these are pieces I would have to say that it wasn't, when it comes to sweaters, this isn't the first item or the first sweater that I recommend. I like a V-neck or a crew neck, a turtleneck, or even a cardigan. Those are probably the first four that I recommend, although if you are a younger man, you may want to avoid the cardigan. But I find for a lot of men who travel, a lot of men who are looking for something they can just pull over, and it is something that's a bit more casual, yet still has a dressy and nice feel, brings the outfit together. The, the half zip does a great job. Now, the half zip, it isn't going to be as fine. I think the, the V-neck is much more formal, especially, and again, we're keeping all things consistent. They're made from the same fabric. We're going with a simple, dark, conservative color. Then I'm gonna say that the, yeah, the V-neck is going to be more formal in terms of sweat formality of sweaters go. Also, the, uh, what is it? The turtleneck could be more formal. In fact, the turtleneck you can wear with a sports jacket by itself. But this is a nice layering piece. And so let me go ahead and, you know, if you're going to be picking up one of these and you want it to be part of your core wardrobe, you're going to face a number of decisions. So how do you go about buying and making a smart buying decision? One is you're going to have to decide, do you want to go with a heavyweight or a lightweight? Usually the heavier weight are going to be made from, you know, uh, I'm going to say more, they're going to be made from thicker weaves. They're going to also be made maybe from a heavier weight wool. Uh, you're going to also see maybe made from a cotton, uh, but the weaves usually be something heavier and you're just going to be able to tell this is a bulkier piece. The problem with going with a bulkier piece, even though it may be warmer, is that it's going to be more casual and you're not going to be able to throw a sports jacket over it. So what I like about this really, this light uh, wool cashmere blend that I'm wearing is that I can throw on a sports jacket. I've got a dark green olive sports jacket that I love to wear with this piece. Works well with the, uh, the purple lavender that you see here and I wear it with a very neutral shirt and all of a sudden I've got a very nice combination, one that I feel looks great and I can wear into an airport, uh, take off my jacket on the plane and I still feel like I'm put together. I can reach up, help, help a woman put uh, you know, her, uh, her luggage over the bin and I don't feel like you know, when I'm stretching up there that, that my shirt's gonna come out and all, all that fun stuff. So if you have to go light to heavyweight, I advise going lightweight. So what about solid versus patterns? Well, I don't see usually a lot of patterns on this, but if you're gonna see a bright color or if you do see a half zip in a pattern, I advise going with a solid classic conservative color. So you can go with grays, you can go with lavenders, uh, blues. I stay away from blacks unless you have a lot of black already in your wardrobe. And the reason, black is a very stark color. However, you can go with a charcoal or a light gray or a medium gray. So those work, you know, work, work good as well. Okay, so I've leaned towards lightweight, looking at a solid. Now let's go ahead and look at zipper versus buttons. Buttons are harder to find, although I think buttons are a little bit more formal. This is something where I'm getting nitpicky on. I would like to have gone with a button. I think that they're just hard to find though. And so I do go with the zipper. Zippers are less formal than buttons. And in fact, zippers, buttons have a much longer history. Zippers came about, I think it was Lee. So I'd love for you, some of you guys to help me in the comments. Where did, who invented the zipper? Where did it come from? But my understanding is that uh, the company uh, Lee, uh, Lee Jeans was one of the first ones to make the zipper very popular. I don't think they invented it, but uh, 
Ever since then, we've seen the zipper. It's just a very easy thing to zip up and down versus trying to do the individual buttons, but it is less formal. And they are tend, they do tend to break and fall apart more than uh, you know buttons you can at least sew back on. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna say, whenever you are making a purchase, is make sure this fits well. So it needs to fit you well in the chest, in the torso, make sure the sleeves are long enough. This one just covers uh, my, the ends of my shirt. I could, you know, if it was a little bit shorter, I don't think I'd like it as much. I like for my sweaters to fully cover this. So whenever I put these my, on my sports jacket, I've got a little bit of room here, but overall I was very happy with the fit. Gentlemen, if it doesn't fit you, you probably need to either send it back or get it a return. Getting adjustments made on a sweater is very difficult. It's not something most seamstresses will take on. Uh, there are a few people that you can send it to in the, you know, here in the U.S. by mail and try to have it adjusted. But again, it's one of these items that it does have a bit of stretch to it. So if you can find something that you know fits you perfectly, go for it. If it's a little bit big, go for it as well because over time, especially if you're going to wash this, even in cold water, wools and cashmere, they shrink just a tad. Do not put these in the the, the dryer, gentlemen. You're going to end up, you know, getting something that's two sizes smaller. I guess I guess if you could only find something that's an extra large and you're a medium, maybe if you've got plenty of money to blow, you could try throwing it in the dryer and see if it fits, but I would not recommend it. Sometimes it they just shrink and they become really short and the, uh, the chest gets even bigger. So things don't always shrink the way you think they're going to. Well, gentlemen, that is the half zip. Again, a core wardrobe item that should probably be your third, fourth, maybe even fifth sweater, but if you're in an area like Chicago, Illinois, or uh, let me think, uh, Wisconsin, Wittenberg, Wisconsin, then you're gonna get a lot of wear. This is great weather for May. Uh, you know, it's actually uh, still snowing up in Wisconsin, over in Wisconsin. Here in Chicago, the weather, it's, it's in the, uh, the high 50s today, so actually perfect weather for something like this. But uh, if you're in California, maybe you only get one or two months out of the, you know, wear out of this. Or if you're over in uh, Southern Europe, maybe not too much wear. But if you're up in uh, Northern France, over in, in, the, uh, in England, yeah, this is a good piece to own. Gentlemen, this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, by doing that, these videos come right to you. Take care. See you in the next video.